Hey guys, this will be part one of my video for Incognitro, the indecipherable filth cycle, which is the reward from an achievement called Rat's Revenge. So if you'd like to see how to collect it, then please keep on watching. If you're up to date with all your secrets from the anniversary event, then you should have received the detective title today. So once you have that, you can speak to this NPC here, Dalaran Survivor, which is located right here on the map in Dornigal. Hello. I, I think I witnessed a crime, or at least a criminal. Can you tell me about it? No, no, sorry. I would rather speak to a detective. Farewell. So what happens if we switch our title? I am listening. Oh, okay. Go on. Rat's race. Good luck, friend. I saw a Volpira acting very suspicious. She seemed on edge. I think I saw a knife at her side and a look of dark magic in her eyes. She noticed me staring and immediately fled. Is she a wanted criminal? She dropped this. Here. Be careful. If you are reading this, you must be after him too, or are you after me? Either way, the game is afoot. Are you clever enough to play? Hurry up, I think the fairy ring has gone rotten. The first part of the puzzle requires a key for the bike. So there are two parts to this. The first is the inert peculiar key and the second is a peculiar gem. Now when you combine the two it creates a peculiar key so you may recall that when we were doing one of the secrets, it led us to this icy lake in Northerend. Now you don't have to do this next part, but I just found it interesting as to how people came up with this next clue. So if you start fishing in the lake, you will fish up some interesting things that led us to the NPC in Ungaro Crater. The other interesting thing to note is if you hover over the lake, it actually forms the crater constellation. So then some of you may remember back in vanilla there was a quest line called Lincoln's Adventure. Since the Cataclysm, Lincoln is no longer there, but you will find something quite interesting if you go to that location. Battered old key, it appears to have a socket for something. This is the location right here on the map. Next you're going to head to Azkahet and pick up the first clue for the peculiar gem. Okay, so this is where I am on the map. Oh, I see something up there. Unfinished note, first clue. Okay, the unfinished note reads, 
think what we could accomplish together, we could finally find him. Another line was started and then crossed out. At the bottom of the page, in small lettering, are a few numbers. 186, 96. Oh, here we go. Second clue, which is right here on the map. Hello, Fall, Asgahet, what are you waiting for? Oh, I see it now. Water resistant note, which is right here on the map. You're persistent, I'll give you that. Fine, if you can find me, we can talk. Careful, it's a long way down this rabbit hole. I'll be watching. Oh, hello. Okay, so this is where I am for the final location. rats oh peculiar gem so you know what that means that means we should be able to put it together with the inert peculiar key let's try that now Excellent. A battered, trampled old key haunted with residual dark magic. The letters DR may have been crossed out. Now it's time to head back to Kara. Well, here we go. Use your torch to enter the catacombs. If you run to the back of the dungeon, you'll find the bike surrounded by a number of empty cauldrons so 
for this part, it does seem to require a lot of different puzzles that you have to complete, including one that you can do inside. Once you've hit the button 1000 times, you can check by clicking the scrying orb. And now you should see two orbs around this cauldron here. For this other cauldron that has four glowy orbs surrounding it, you're going to head to the Isle of Watchers in Legion. Next you'll want to get your fledgling warden owl out. To get this pet you need to be revered with the wardens. The pet can be picked up from this vendor here, Marin Bladewing, located right here by the flight master. Hello. For 400 gold, which isn't too bad. There are 11 owl statues located all around the aisle. At certain times they will be lit up in four different colours, either red, purple, green and blue. So what you have to do is find one that is lit up by one of these colours. Make sure you have your owl out until it flies around in a circle around the statue. Once you have all four colours lit up, your owl will be empowered and you'll notice that it has a little glowy orb above its head. Okay, got the clue for this one. Oh, I can see his blue now. If you get the message you can't do that yet, you just have to find another statue. As I said before, you only need four of the colours. There we go dancing around the red one. I ended up getting two of my colours of the same statue. So now you can see this time my owl is empowered. And so that is it for the first part of the video.